Hi, welcome back to our next training session. I am Mitendra Kumar Shah, Pharmaceutical Compliance Consultant, CGMP Trainer and Auditor from NADH plus GXP Compliance Services. As per FDA, the CGMP regulations require that manufacturing processes should be designed and controlled to assure that in process materials and the finished product meet predefined or predetermined quality requirements consistently and reliably. Today, we will discuss about the process validation requirement as per the FDA guide. As per FDA guideline, the process validation should be performed in three stages. Stage one is process design. Stage two is the process qualification. And stage three is a continued process verification. Now, the point is what should be covered under stage one that is process design. Many companies still not cover these stages during the process validation. As per FDA, focusing exclusively on qualification efforts without understanding the manufacturing process and associated with the variations may not lead to adequate assurance of the quality. This means only if we are performing the process qualification, it will not suitable for the purpose or it will not suit for the intended purpose. Due to this reason, I plan today to discuss about this aspect only. Process design is the activity of defining the commercial manufacturing process that will be reflected in plan master production and control records. The goal of this stage is to design a process suitable for routine commercial manufacturing that can be consistently deliver a product that meets the quality attributes. Basically, under process design stage, we should build and capture all the process knowledge and understanding in detail and then on the basis of this knowledge gain we should establish a strategy for process control now the question is how we can build and capture process knowledge and understanding and how practically we can put into the process validation document here the point is we should remember that the functionality and limitation of the commercial manufacturing equipment should be considered in the process design as well as potential contributions to variability by different components, lots, production operators, environmental conditions and measurement system in the production settings. So basically here we need to refer the product development data. You can call it as a product development uh, report or uh, you know the product development package and under that we need to verify how the product is developed, what type of experiments are designed to study and develop process knowledge by revealing the relationship including multiple variable interactions between the variable inputs like for example API to XCPN, API to API, XCPN to XCPN, API to the process, API to the environmental conditions etc etc. Now here the studies are not expected to evaluate the process until getting the failing results. That means FDA does not generally expect manufacturers to develop and test the process until it fails. Further information should be taken from the scale-up batch or pilot batch or engineering batch or the trial batch which are manufactured before validation of the batch manufacturing. So we can check the results of these batches and verify whether the results are in line with the development batches data or there is a variability between these batches and the development batches. At per FDA, it is essential that activities and studies resulting in the process understanding should be documented. Documentation should reflect the basis for decisions made about the process. For example, manufacturers should document the variables studied 
for a unit operation and the rationale for those variables identified as a significant then the second step of the process design is establishing the strategy for process control process knowledge and understanding is the basis for establishing an approach to process control for each unit operation and the process overall strategies for process control can be designed to reduce input variation adjust for input variation during manufacturing so reduce its impact on the output or combine both approaches fd expects control to include both examination of the metal quality and equipment monitoring now here the point is we have to put the focus on identifying a strategy so as to control the operations this means we need to evaluate the identified critical processes parameters and critical quality attributes which can have impact on the product quality as per fda the plan commercial production and control records which contain the operational limits and overall strategy for process control should be carried forward to the next stage for confirmation this means what this means before next stage of process validation that is the process qualification the batch manufacturing record should be readily available with all limits for operational parameters and also strategy for the in process control hope now this stage 1 of process validation that is process design is clear to you and hope you will implement in your organization here i just want to tell you that if you cannot attend our in house training or workshop you can learn multiple cgmp topics from our all videos my basic purpose of preparing these videos is to provide free learning platform hence i request you to share these all videos to your colleagues so that they can also get benefit from these videos i would like to extend our technical support to the pharmaceutical organizations for third party audits like vendor audits supplier audits due diligence audit mock audit gap audit even for cause audit etc we also provide on site training to the teams we provide technical support in preparing for regulatory audits and also for the preparation and review of the compliance report overall we help organizations or pharmaceutical organizations to grow by robust quality management system implementation and also implementation of a new or current regulatory requirements and protecting from serious non conformities or failures in future just one recommendation to you is to subscribe this youtube channel so that you will get notification about the new videos if you are interested in any other topic please feel free to contact us Thank you so much and ensure all time compliance thank you